and the billionaire behind the Tesla electric car and SpaceX wants to put humans on Mars. Yeah, and not just a few people. He's talking about a colony of human Martians, eventually numbering one million. Elon Musk unwrapping his plans to colonize Mars at a space conference in Mexico. Well, that's why I wanted to do it at the IC was to really encourage and really encourage people to compete with SpaceX or potentially team up or just just get get the community in general to think um, about going to Mars and taking Mars uh, seriously. Computer generated images show a capsule atop a reusable rocket booster. The booster propels perhaps 100 people into Earth's orbit. Then it returns to Earth, landing upright. A fuel tanker is attached. It hooks up with the module in orbit and unloads the fuel. This repeats several times. Then the capsule accelerates towards Mars, deploying solar wings to harness the sun's energy. Three months later, the module lands upright on Mars. Along the way, travelers dine in the spaceship's restaurants, watch Hollywood blockbusters at its movie theater, and work out in the gym. Why do all this? Musk says to save humanity. One path is we stay on Earth forever, um, and then there will be some eventual extinction event. The alternative is to become a space-faring civilization and a multi-planet species. Now, Musk says initially it'll take $10 billion per person to go to Mars. He's hoping the tickets will come down to about the $200,000 range. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be affordable for so many people. Uh, you know, I'm kind of a land. I'm Earth. I'm, I'll stay here. You're an Earthling, if you I'm, will. I'm an Earthling. The first humans are supposed to depart in the 2020s. Hopefully, I will still be able to go. And some of the foods that they're going to serve, we're told moon pies, Starburst, Milky Ways, Tang, and Sunny D. But they do have a gym. Right. So you can work off so all the crap that you're eating. All that.